Hello everyone and welcome to part two of me clearing out my makeup collection. Now this part will probably be more me just kind of showing you my everyday products because this is where they live. I've had this little chest of drawers for ever and actually I am on the hunt for something to replace it because I sort of need like a little bit more space than this but equally I quite like the fact that having only a small container means that I do have to curate what I use on a daily basis quite strictly so I kind of like it but at the same time you know I also have stuff in this top drawer which is just kind of thrown in randomly so uh, let's get into it. So these two pots here are basically all of my makeup brushes. They don't need cleaning out, so I'm just gonna leave them there. And also there's a couple of pencils thrown in there for good measure. But we'll start with this little station here because there are a couple of things that I basically have used today. So this was a little sample that I got sent with an order and it's by Huda Beauty, I believe. Yes, Huda Beauty. And it's their multi-dew skin tint in Fair Light number two. Now. I've walked the dog and everything, so it's probably worn off quite a bit because I realised my face would not be in the majority of these videos. I actually have it on today, and I have been super impressed with this. If you are looking for a lightweight, very easy to apply skin tint, but with a bit of oomph to it, that just blends into your skin, looks completely like your skin, does not look like you're wearing any makeup, but your skin kind of looks too perfect for you not to be wearing any makeup, do you know what I mean? This is, this is your one. So I've actually really enjoyed using this. And I may even buy the full size. So well done, little sample. You've done your job. But then the next thing that I just have out on the top is this Refi Lip Blush in the shade Orchid. Honestly, it is so easy just to whack on. I absolutely love this. This has been in my handbag since I bought it. And I brought it up this morning just because I used it when I was getting ready. So yeah, I am really, really enjoying this. So that is living right out front center where I can see it. And here we have the cute little doggy mug. Never have truer words been spoken. Holder of all of my eyeliners. Now this is a pot that needs clearing out because I actually don't wear a lot of eyeliner anymore. So let's, let's just dump them all out. And then we can add back in as as we talk about them. You know, what, actually, I'm just going to put this pot here because otherwise it's all just going to fall off all the time. Now, I've talked about these before on my channel. They are the Pro Lash Lift mascaras from Swede, and I I cannot say enough good things about this mascara. I even wore this in the pool when we were on holiday, and it did come off, but it just kind of flaked off, so it didn't smudge everywhere. It actually just sort of wore off really nicely. So I was really really impressed with this. I have it in the brown and the black. The black is a better formula, I think, than the brown. It's much more volumizing. So yeah, and I've, originally I was like, oh, is it just because of the darker color? No, it is definitely a diff slightly different formula. So whilst I really do enjoy the brown for more natural looks, I do prefer the black. So if you're gonna buy one, I would suggest the black. And then sticking with mascaras, I have this one from The Body Shop. It is their Happy Go Lash. I still have this because I've used it about twice. <laughs> So I feel bad throwing it away. But this does not give me the level of volume that I want. It smudges a bit. So to be honest, I think I'm just gonna, you know, say sometimes you just have to just give up. <laughs> Next up, we have a lip color, which is definitely not supposed to be in here. And this is the Hollywood Lips from Charlotte Tilbury in Too Bad I'm Bad. And this is actually a really, really beautiful lip color. It is phenomenally pigmented and it's a really, really comfortable one to wear. I will have to compare this to the Too Faced one that I showed you in last week's video. So go watch that if you haven't and then I will just pick one of them because I think this might be very similar to the elf one that I also showed you in that video because I don't need three and I think I like the Too Faced one more. Sticking with the lip products, this is a dual ended Too Clever by Half lipstick and liner by CYO in the shade Night Moves. This is meant to be, you know, kind of a bit of an all-in-one product. I don't reach for this because I have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in almost the exact same colour, which is just better quality. CYO is actually really not bad. I do enjoy their products and I think for the price they are, this ain't bad, but it's just, yeah, I, I just, I don't reach for it. So I think I'm going to send this on to Pastures New. Next up, we have a lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is in the shade M.I. Kiss. Now this 
goes perfectly with my favourite lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury, which is the Bond Girl shade. This is the lipstick that I wear if basically I'm going to wear a lipstick. I absolutely adore this. And it's quite an old one, so I'm not sure if it's still called Bond Girl. I think it might be called M.I. Kiss as well, because I bought this more recently. These two pair together, and they are my favourite lip combination. Sticking with lip liners, this is one from Revolution and it is in the shade Fling. I use this one if I am using any kind of nude lipstick and it's just a really easy to wear pencil. I don't use it loads and when I do use it I really need it if that makes sense. So yes, definitely still sticking around. And then we have two black eyeliners. So one of these is the Body Shop Eye Definer Crayon Cool. And then the other one is by Lancome, which I got as a gift. So I'm going to have to try these two out and decide which one I like better. Because I don't need two, but I'm not sure which one I like best. Because I don't really wear a lot of black eyeliner anymore. So I will, I will try all those and pick between them. But this one is just an easy breezy brown eyeliner. This is probably my most worn one and it's from a collection in the shade 02 brown. This is the only brown eyeliner that I have found that is actually a neutral brown. So many of them are so warm toned and I'm like no I don't want that I want a neutral one. So yes if you are also looking for a proper neutral brown eyeliner then get yourself down to collection. This was so inexpensive and it's just that perfect brown. It sounds so silly but I know you guys will know what I mean. Can you tell that Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favourite makeup brands? <laughs> this is the Jewel Ended Pencil and is the shade Mesmerising Maroon. And this was a very, very kind gift from my mother-in-law. And it's basically got the matte shade on the one side and then a metallic on the other. I do wear the metallic a little bit more, but I actually love this. This goes so well with my instant look in a palette palette, which I will show show you in a bit. This is the eyeliner again from Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. This is very very similar to the one end of my mesmerizing maroon but in fact is it the same shade? I've never actually compared these side by side. Okay no there is actually quite a big difference. The maroon one is way more purple and then the Pillow Talk one is definitely more of a brownie pink. So there we go just because if they were the same then I was just going to keep this one. <laughs> but oh no I'll have to keep them both. I promise this video is not sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury but here we go again. And this is the the classic eye powder pencil in shimmering brown. I love this one because again it's basically my perfect brown shade like the collection one but with a slightly shimmery base to it which is just gorgeous. I love just wearing this on its own with brown mascara and then just smudging it out a little bit. It's just a really beautiful soft but intentional kind of a makeup look. Then this is a eyeliner that I don't know why I still have it because I know for a fact that I don't like it. <laughs> and it is the Black Magic Coco Edit Liquid Eyeliner in Warm Brown. And it really is a warm brown. On me, it basically looks orange. <laughs> it's so warm. So I shall gift this on to somebody who will appreciate it and actually enjoy it because it just looks terrible on me. This is actually an eyebrow product and I've spoken about this before on my channel. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen and this one is in the shade Blonde. I rotate which brow product I'm using at any given moment and this one is actually almost run out. If I go over it a bit you can see it. There we go. It's a really really subtle subtle shade and when my hair is more blonde, so when I've had my balayage done more recently, I really really like this because it just kind of fills in my brows without making them any darker. So really really enjoy, really really great formula, love. And now we have the eyeliner that I buy in bulk <laughs> whenever they have it in. This is the Lecura liquid eyeliner and it is so good. It is a felt tip liquid liner which are my favourite for doing winged eyeliner and it's so black and it's so easy to apply and I just I don't understand why there is not more of a buzz around this but equally don't make a buzz because it always sells out anyway. This is a little PSA for if you have blue eyes get yourself a grey 
eyeliner. This is one from B Beauty, I think that's what it's called, and it is a gorgeous, pretty dark grey, really creamy eyeliner. Your eyes with grey eyeliner will look phenomenal, trust me on this. And then last two things, we have more eyeliner and a lip liner. This is a red lip liner from Gosh in The Red. And I just feel like this is good to have because if I am wearing a red lip, then you need to have a lip liner. And I just remembered, I said that I would tell you the combination, which is my perfect red. And that is the Charlotte Tilbury MI Kiss Layered Under Red Carpet Red. Just gives you the perfect deep, sort of bluey toned gorgeous red i will do a video where i do that combination at some point but right now uh it's just it's just not a red lip day and then last but very much not least i have this jewel ended pencil from charlotte tilbury where you have a black liner on one side and then a kind of shimmery champagne -y shade on the other love this so you can line your eyes with this one and then kind of illuminate the inner corners, your brow bone, all those kinds of things with this side. So I absolutely love this one. I use this a lot for concerts. So moving on to the little drawers, I kind of have eyeshadows and eyebrow products in this top one. And I tend to put stuff in here which I want to use more, so I'll definitely be moving a few things over from last week's video. First of all, we have this little mini palette by e.l.f. This is their Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow in Rosé All Day. Love this. Use this all the time. I love the fact that it's really small. So if I do my eye makeup with this, I can just chuck it in my small handbag and they last really well love elf eyeshadows next up i've got this wet and wild palette which actually i bought years ago and i basically only use two shades in it i use this one and i use this one <laughs> which are beautiful and i remembered the other day about this palette that i had you know because i hadn't used it in so long and so i put it in here because i just want to get a little bit of use out of it and then see if it's a keep or if it's a giveaway and then I have my Revolution Brow Shaping Wax in Ash Brown. I love this product. Whoop, throwing the mini spoolie on the floor. You get so much product in here. It's absolutely insane. And the lasting power on this is the best of any eyebrow product I have ever tried. Okay, here we have a definite donate slash giveaway. And it's a lovely little blush and highlighter duo from e.l.f. This is in pomegranate and it's gorgeous, but I don't wear highlight and I have another blush that I use more, which is basically the same color. So I am gonna give that one away. Another eyebrow product, this is actually almost used up. So I think I bought this one to replace it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this away because this is a bit gross. <laughs> but it is the, the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade in Blonde. Really, really good product. I do really enjoy it, but yes, definitely one to throw away. NYX, the brow glue, really, really good. Quite expensive though. I think this is my only MAC eyeshadow. I bought this when I was looking for wedding makeup and I thought this was the only time I would ever find this particular shade of brown. It is really, really nice. It is the shade Charcoal Brown and it is lovely, but yeah, I mean, I don't buy MAC makeup anymore, but this is a lovely eyeshadow. So yes, I do use it. And then here I have a couple of H&M eyeshadows. I actually really rate H&M makeup. It is not bad at all. But one of these is really gold glittery and then one of them is silver. I do wear the gold one, but I don't wear the silver one. I'm gonna give this one away because I've known for ages that I don't use it. Sticking with the individual eyeshadows from Estate in the shade Virginity, which I hate the name of this. But it is the most beautiful shimmery coppery shade. This just all over the lid blend out the edges job is a good one. next we have an elf highlighter that i use as an eyeshadow and this is the shade apricot glow and it is beautiful look at that if you're just wanting a bit more than just mascara but you don't want to go for like a full eye look this is perfect elf wow brow in the shade neutral brown absolutely love this. I wear this on days where I'm literally just doing a quick brow, a little bit of mascara, and that's it. I absolutely love it. My only Laura Mercier product. This is a eyeshadow pencil. I got this in a beauty advent calendar, and it's in the shade Amethyst, and it is beautiful. It's just one of those, whack it all over your lid, 
blend it out a bit and you've got yourself a beautiful, beautiful eye look. Now here we have one of the only Charlotte Tilbury products I've ever tried that I actually don't like. This is their Magic Corrector, I think, in the shade Fair. It's meant to be an under eye concealer. I find this phenomenally cakey and it just creases and sits oddly on the skin. I haven't found the heart to throw it away but it doesn't work for me so. So in this middle drawer I have more face products and the first one is this Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. When I bought this I thought Physicians Formula were cruelty free, <laughs> turns out I don't think they are. But as you can see I'm starting to hit pan on this now absolutely love this bronzer. I think it only comes in one shade. The only gripe I have about this is how, look how bulky this packaging is. It's so unnecessary, so I don't travel with it, which is a shame, but I love it when I'm at home. One of my favourite products, this is by Rodial, and this is their Peach Low Lighter. I actually don't know if Rodial are cruelty-free or not. Again, I got this in a beauty calendar. I'll put their cruelty-free status on the screen here. I really hope they are, because <laughs> I have a few things from them. We have a liquid blush from Bee Beauty, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous liquid blush. Really gorgeous, very, very subtle flush of colour. I really, really enjoy this. Here we have another bronzer, and this is by Revolution in the shade Holiday Romance, and it is this super, super shimmery bronzer. I actually use this as an eyeshadow. <laughs> I mean, it's the world's biggest single eyeshadow, but I do actually really enjoy using this. And then I have a little mini of the Bare Minerals Mineral Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. I love this stuff. I actually need to go and get a full size of it because I love wearing this stuff on stage. Because when you've got a lot of lights on you, you can look really shiny really easily. And I just find their mineral foundation, it's just that perfect mattifying without you looking like you've tried to mattify your skin. Your skin still looks really beautiful and looks like skin on stage, but equally gives you the coverage that you might feel like you want under all those lights. And then I have another liquid lip. I don't know why it's in here, it's so random. This is by Sleek Makeup, and this is the Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. Gives me it's a mouthful. And then in Velvet Slipper. I love this shade. This is a really sultry lip moment and I love it. If we're going out for a date night, then this is kind of the vibe I like to go for. Absolutely stunning, but um, shouldn't be living in there. That should be with my other lipsticks. And then last but not least, how long is this video? Probably about an hour. <laughs> we have kind of the random stuff draw, to be honest. So we'll go through this really, really quickly. This is a beautiful blush by Peri Pera, which is a Korean beauty brand and is a matte peach blush. I use this a lot. It's beautiful. Whenever I am using a more peachy blush, I like to kind of match my lip to it. And this is the e.l.f. Sheer Slick in Golden Pear. I do wear this. I find it a little bit orange when it's on my lip, on the skin. Here it looks beautiful. But on my lip, I thought I've got a lip on, otherwise I would show you. It does pull a little bit more orange, but I do really enjoy it. So yes, keeping that one. And then we have a product that is really, really good but just not for me. This is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It's just way too full coverage. I mean, it does say full coverage natural finish, but I think just because it said CC Cream, I just thought it was gonna be a little bit more blendable. No, this is a full coverage product. I don't wear full coverage foundations, so this is gonna go to a friend. I have a little Lacura Dewy Lip Balm. This is fine. It's not especially great, but you know, I bought it just to try it. I have other lip balms I prefer. So again, off to a friend. Speaking of lip balms I prefer, this is a Burt's Bees one, and this is just gorgeous. This is the one in, I believe this is the peppermint one, which is my favorite. It's just a clear lip balm, no color in it whatsoever, but that gorgeous kind of spearminty flavor. A rather bougie <laughs> uh, lip liner and eyeliner sharpener. And then we have one of my only Glossier makeup products. This is just a clear lip gloss, and I love this, but it is the only clear gloss that I own so yeah definitely keeping this one. I told you that was the last thing. I lied to you. So in my top drawer here is mainly my hair scrunchies and things but I do have this little Ikea container of makeup products so we will go through these because there's actually 
some really beautiful products in here. The first thing is this little magnetic palette that I put together myself. These are primarily Makeup Geek, I think, shadows. Yes, which I don't know if Makeup Geek is even... They... I feel like they closed, they folded, there was some drama there. Anyway, these are beautiful. <laughs> and then I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills product here, which is just the most beautiful eyeshadow I own. So yes, these get used a lot. Another Rodial product that I absolutely love, and it is their Rodial Glass Powder, which is absolutely iconic, and this is a beautiful powder. I also love the compact that it comes in. It keeps it really secure, so you don't worry about chucking it in your bag. This is the absolute pinnacle of my makeup <laughs> collection. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette. This is the Gorgeous Glow Beauty one. They bring out a different one of these every year, so I don't think you can still buy this one, I am sorry. Inside you have three eyeshadows, you have a blush, a bronzer, a highlighter, and then this is meant to be like a cheek topper, I use it as an eyeshadow. Now, my only complaint about this palette is the fact that this is a highlighter, not a powder. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> because I don't use highlighter. You're gonna want a powder before you want a highlight. Like, make one of these little ones a highlight, maybe. But yeah, anyway, so that's my only gripe with this one. Uh, but I just use this to blend out eyeshadows. So <laughs> I do use it, but not for what it's for. Anyway, I use this every single time I travel. So when I am traveling for work, which I do a lot, then I take this because these are basically perfect concert eyeshadows. I can make such a beautiful makeup look with this and it has a mahusive mirror. So it's all there in one thing. One of the best things I've ever bought. Um, in here, I have a little Barry M palette. And I mean, it's I've obviously used the brow wax a lot, but it's just shades that I own already. So and this is enormous. So... That one's been given away. This is my only product from Benefit and it is their blush in the shade. Oh, is it just Rocketeer? Is that if I don't even know. My sister was wearing this. I thought it was so beautiful that I bought one. Again, this is too old for me to give away to anybody and it is really, really beautiful. So yes, keeping that one, trying to use it up. Another blush that I'm trying to use up and I'm so sad because this is from L'Oreal and it's their Life's a Peach blush. This is my everyday blush. This is what I'm using. It is absolutely stunning. So if any anybody knows a cruelty free alternative for when I finally use this up my goodness is this product taking its time in me hitting pan but yes let me know because it is absolutely stunning here I have the primer from Refi Beauty this is their face primer glow and sculpt I very rarely use this because I don't really use primer because I don't really wear foundation we've talked about this but when I do I use this one because it is gorgeous. We have a makeup fixing spray from MUA Makeup Academy. I do actually use this a lot because, again, I use this when I'm going on stage and I haven't tested it over a really long time, but it's worked really well for me so far. And then last but not least, and I promise this is the last thing now, this is the Pink Honey Honey Glue Strawberry Sherbet Texture Hold eyebrow wax. It's one of those ones where you get your spoolie and you kind of wiggle it around and get some of the wax out. This is really, really, really good. I think I just bought the NYX one because this is quite heavy and bulky to travel with. So I bought the NYX one to make packing my makeup bag much easier, but this stuff is wonderful. It's also a British company. They're a small independent business and yeah, love. <sighs> Is anybody else absolutely exhausted? <laughs> now I know why I've been putting this off for so long. I really, really hope you have enjoyed these videos. Just going through my makeup collection, having a little bit of a clear out and a sort, I'm gonna organize these things into their actual relevant drawers. If you would like to see more videos from me, then please do subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.